MetroCount, the traffic data specialist. Hi, I'm Morris Berger, technical sales specialist at MetroCount. And we're here at a city of Fremantle bicycle monitoring site where we've installed just recently a permanent bicycle monitoring system, the MC5720. But today we're not going to talk about the permanent monitoring system. We're in fact going to talk about a temporary, portable, accurate bicycle monitoring system, which we have designated the MC5620. You can see that behind me now. That uses tubes. Now you'd be used to our MC5600 traffic monitoring device using tubes. Well, what this does is take that many steps further. It's not the same as a 5600. It's not used for the same system. It is used for accurate bicycle monitoring only. Where we would install that system is on bike paths like this, cycleways, shared paths. We'd also install them on road, delineated bicycle lanes, painted lines, to give you accurate bicycle counts. So why would we be wanting to introduce a portable bicycle monitoring system? Well, there are a number of reasons. One is to determine where we would put a permanent monitoring device. We need to get data to obtain funding. We need to get data to figure out where the cycle movements are happening. Using a temporary device installed for a few weeks will give you very good data and will give you that small or large increase in cycle numbers accurately. What other reasons would we use to introduce a portable monitoring device? Well, there can be issues related to interaction of cyclists and pedestrians on shared paths. We know the issue of many cyclists on a pathway that is a small width, with a lot of people walking around, dog walkers, pram users and so on, there's high interaction. So we want to know what that interaction is. We also want to know the speed of cyclists. With all our systems, we can determine the speed of every individual cyclist, and we can also determine the direction, doesn't matter where they are on the path. Where else is the portable MC5620 device to be used? On school routes. We need to get more school children riding let's introduce portable bicycle monitoring device, the MC5620, on the pathways that the school kids are going to be travelling on. And let's see the uptake in real data. The accurate system will give you numbers of each individual cyclist. And the cyclists can be travelling through in groups. We can interrogate and work out even the wheelbase of those bicycles. We can differentiate between cargo bikes and standard bikes. So, that's some good information, I hope, for you about the uses of the MC5620, the accurate bicycle counting device. And what we will do now is have a look at uh, some data, have a look at the accuracies of the 5620, how it disseminates those bicycles that are in groups, and how it gives you amazing speed information, directional information, uh, in, in a whole range of outputs, including the MTE software directly, tabular reports, graphical reports, and into Excel. You'll love it. Now we're going to have some bicycles traveling over these, this site, and we'll see how that relates to the data we'll look at later.